Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm starting my walk today at my favorite place, the boat ramp. I always like to start my walk right here. Need to walk more. I used to do all my, a lot of my videos on the trail when I was walking. And I haven't been walking as much down here. And I'm going to tell you what. If you think painting your house and doing yard work and stuff is going to help you lose weight, I am living proof that does not work. <laughs> that was the last video that uh, I just drove their boat right through my video. Well, anyway, <laughs> the uh, last video I did after I got a good view of my belly, how much weight I have gained since I've been down here, showed me that apparently you can mow all the grass you want, paint all the house you want, sweat all day long. You gotta, you gotta walk. You gotta get out there. Anyway, y'all like my shirt? It's a little uh, shirt I designed called House Paint Camouflage. All right, when I started driving down here, uh, there's a pond uh, near, you know, where I live and I always drive past the pond down here. And I saw about, I don't know, seven or eight kids and they were in bathing suits and they were probably like, you know, 10, 11 years old, look like, and they were swimming in the pond, in a pond. And I, get, I guarantee you where I used to live, you would have never seen any kid swimming in a pond. And, uh, you know, like I said, this is a smaller town and stuff like that. But I'm so glad to see that there are still kids that go out and swim in ponds. And there's a basketball court that I pass, a uh, park that has a basketball court. And I have to tell you, when I lived in uh, Dallas, I would go by basketball courts. I never saw a kid. I hadn't seen a kid in 15 years out there playing basketball. I don't know why they have them on a basketball court. Down here, there's a park, and every once in a while, I see a kid out there playing basketball. Outside. I see kids outside in the yard. So, it's nice being in a small town. It reminds me, I was on the Silver Comet Trail up there in Dallas a while back, and I should have videoed it when it happened. And it's one of those things, and I, I talked about it in one of my videos, but I deleted it. It's one of those ones I never put together. I never did. I do a lot of videoing that I don't post. But anyway, I have to edit. I have to edit my videos. I'm not like Tammy. I can't just get on here and start talking and... You know, if I just start talking, I'd say crazy stuff. <clears throat> but anyway, I was going down the Silver Comet Trail, and there was, you know, there's a lot of embankments and rock faces and stuff, kind of where they cut the, that old railroad trail um, through the hills there. And there was this guy, and he had three boys. And they looked like they were, like the oldest one was probably 11, and the youngest one was probably like six or seven. And uh, there was this dirt embankment and they were just climbing up the dirt embankment. And I mean, there was, you know, dirt collapsing down and some of it was rocks and some of it wasn't. And they were just climbing up to the top of it just having a good time. And uh, they were just getting filthy. <laughs> I wanted to stop and tell that guy, hey man, I appreciate you letting your kids get outside and play and just climb and have fun without you watching every little thing and telling them how to do it and taking them to climbing lessons on one of those walls, you know, where they have a rope on them where if they fall, the rope catches them, and they have an instructor, and they have padding, and they have helmets on, and all that. 
he was just letting him climb up the side of that, <laughs> the side of that hill. And uh, I was like, man, I wish more people would let their kids just get out and do. I mean, that's one of the reasons why kids are the way they are today is they are watched over. And I know you have to be. I know there's, you know, people out there that, that get your kids and stuff like that. But I mean, when they're out there playing in the yard, you know, it don't have to be a structured activity. Let them play. Let them get dirty. Let them get hurt. You know, as part of being a kid, you don't learn if you don't go through those things. Dang. And these bugs right here. They're just in certain places and they will light you up now. I don't know what they're called. I may have to turn the video off. Maybe I should turn the video off, Chris. Maybe you should stop getting crap stung out of you and uh, cut the video off and deal with the bugs. <clears throat> Maybe not. Kids need a chance to do things on their own and learn how to do stuff on their own. And I bet that guy's kids, I bet when they got home, I bet that their mama, when she saw how dirty their clothes are, I bet she, I bet she just jumped all over them. I can't believe y'all got this dirty. Now I gotta wash all these clothes. I told y'all, y'all don't need to be playing in it. You know, and I bet she just got all over them. And I bet the dad, I hope, was behind her while she was getting all over them. And he was looking at those kids and he was going, <laughs> don't worry about it, boys, I got your back. I'm not gonna say anything in front of your mom right now, but it's okay, y'all have fun, I hope. That's what played out at that guy's house. I hope it wasn't the last time those boys got to go climb and get dirty and have a real good time. Another lovely day. Here in St. Mary's. Yep, there's one y'all missed. Had the camera off. Bonnet head shark. <laughs> 